Hey everyone, it's Miss B. Today I'm going to show you the Blockly app on the iPad. It is what we'll use to program dash and dot. Um, so I want to show you where it is, a few of the features of it, and then I want you to play around with it and learn even more. And then you could even teach me some new things that you learn about it or teach uh, your friends in class, okay? So on the iPad, if you look down at the bottom, there's a uh, folder called Coding. When I click that, there's a bunch of apps inside there that are for coding. And the one we're using today is Blockly. So we'll select that. And if you look up, uh, this is called kind of the workspace. And if you look up in the right corner, there's a plus sign with some gray dashes spinning around it. That's what you need to select to connect your iPad to your robot. So we're going to uh, hit that plus sign and you'll see a thing that comes up saying searching for robots. So no robots found. So oh, that means I haven't turned dash and dot on, which I'll do right now. You can't see them, but maybe you can what? hear them. What? Whoa, where am I? There's dot. And there's dash. So I'm going to click search again and see if we can find them. Okay, <laughs> so there they are, and I'm going to choose dash. And then you'll notice in the top right corner that his picture will appear now that we know he's there and we're connected. So we're going to talk, um, basically what this screen is saying is when we click that start button, the green start button at the bottom, anything that we attach to that is going to be what Dash will do. It's similar to what you did with the Hour of Code and you were programming the Angry Bird to go get the mean pig. Um, you were dragging those pieces of code, those blocks of code. So this is pretty much the same thing. And uh, I just want to show you some of these menu buttons and what's inside of them. So uh, we're going to start with the drive one. And the drive one is the menu button that allows us to move Dash forward or backward, okay? He can go backward, he can go forward, he can go certain different distances, and he can go at different speeds. He can also turn his body left and right and turn just a little bit left or a lot left. Same thing with right, a little bit right or a lot right. Okay, so let me drag out the forward button just to show you how to find out all the options for going forward. Once you drag it out and you touch it again, it opens up a new screen with what looks like a speedometer in a car, which um, when you turn it all the way to the right means dash is going to move really fast. If you go um, all the way to the low, to the left, it's going to go really slow. Okay, the green arrow here is half lit up, and that means he's moving 50 centimeters. If I lit the whole thing up, he would go 100 centimeters. If I took all of them away, he'd only go 10 centimeters. So I think I'm going to have dash go 10 centimeters very slow forward. Okay, the look, the look button uh, on the menu is where Dash's head can look. So he can look up with his head, he can look down with his head, he can look left with his head, and he can look right with his head. And he can look um, left and right a lot or just a little. Okay, so let's have him look up a little bit when I click that. It shows you that he can go up, he could look straight ahead, or he could look down. So I'm going to have him look down by 7. Okay, and then um, if I wanted him to look to the left and I drag that over, he could look left. Again, you have this little meter to determine how far left you want him to look. And there's the visual there of his head, so it lets you know that he's turning a lot to the left. Here he's only turning a little to the left. So maybe I'll have him turn kind of a lot to the right. Okay, and if I put it straight up and down, it would be looking forward. So I'm going to have him turn to the right a little bit. Okay. The next one is the light, and this is fun because there's lights all over Dash, so you could have all his lights be any color you want it to be, okay? Any of those colors, it'll change. I'm going to keep it red, and I could also have his, uh, like his front light turn a different color. Maybe I'll have that be white, okay? Then there's also, uh, and there's all different other kinds of lights, his back tail light on or his left ear could turn a color. Let's make his left ear be purple. Okay. Then the sound, you can make, have him speak some words. You could have him make animal sounds. You could have him make sounds of different transportation, like a fire siren. You could have him make weird sounds. Um, and when you, when you select any of those, it gives you some more options. So in the weird beeps, he could also do a gobble, a buzz, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a laser. Okay, so he can do all these weird sounds. I'm not going to do a weird sound today. So anytime I want to get rid of a block, just put it in the trash can. I think I'm going to have him do a transportation sound and be a fire siren. But there's other transportation that I could also choose, like a tire squeal or a helicopter. But I think for today, I'm going to have him be a fire siren. Okay. And then, uh, so those are some of the sounds. The last thing I wanted to show you was the control thing. So this, we're not going to, um, you know, if I wanted him to move forward three times at 10 centimeters, um, instead of using that block three times, I could put this repeat thing right there, put the forward, or I could have him do that whole thing three times, right? So I could have him I want to what I'm telling him to do is do this three times, move forward ten real slow, turn all his lights to red, have his front light be white, have his left ear be purple, have the fire siren go out, go on rather, look down by seven, look right by sixty. And that's what I'm going to have him do three times. So if I were to program him hit that start button, this is what he would do. And you're not going to see it, but maybe you'll hear the siren at the end. Okay, so. All right. So he's going to keep doing that for three times. Okay. Um, but this, again, is what your workspace would look like. And then when I hit that start button, those are all the... Um, the uh, behaviors that Dash would do, okay? So I wanted to introduce you a little bit to this app, and I hope this helped, and thanks for watching.